I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lift your hands, lift your voices and worship Him. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. Be lifted, say, be lifted forever. Be lifted. forever I love you forever I love you forever and I'll serve you forever I'll serve you forever I'll serve you forever Lord I'll seek you forever I'll seek you forever. I'll seek you forever. Lord. You're my king forever. You're my king forever. You're my king forever. Lord, Lord Jesus, we declare again that we love you this is why we do all that we do this is why we go everywhere we go this is why we say everything that we say this is why we act the way we do and with our hands lifted up we will worship our king and with our hands lifted up we come before you rejoicing with our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why we just tell them we love in our king oh we just tell behind all that we do behind the preaching behind the singing behind the creativity may we remain motivated by our love for you and may the nations know that we love you help us tonight grant us grace in the name of jesus christ amen mina god bless you good morning hallelujah please do me well before you sit to just honor my friend and brother pastor petrock thank you so much and your dear wife i love you with all my heart i salute every great man woman of god every politician every captain of industry here represented particularly the pfn chairman and his dear wife i honor you may god bless you and everyone who is here inside i saw such a crowd of people outside remarkable so many people outside god bless you those outside can you shout a loud hallelujah i hope they can hear me praise the lord and those following online may the lord bless you and honor you in jesus name this is a night vigil is it okay if we take a few minutes to pray i believe in prayer i really do and so we'll just take a few minutes to pray and then i'll just share a few truths from god's word because it is the word of god every encounter in his presence is also an encounter with his sent word not just the available word the sent word hallelujah and then we'll trust that the lord will just give us visitations tonight and then 
that will be it for it i pray that god will grant us grace in jesus name so please rise if you can we'll take a few minutes to just pray in the spirit it is important to pray the bible says he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint first thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17 says pray without ceasing it doesn't mean to pray from morning till night it means to be consistent in your prayer hallelujah to be consistent in prayer so with the few minutes that we have i'd like you to just lift your voice if you have the faith to connect with someone by your left and right that will be fine please lift your voice outside inside the auditorium i'd like you to begin to pray in the spirit for a few minutes asking the lord for edification that he will build up our spirit man this is how we build capacity in the spirit. Shabranda kata prosya de gede bela kata posya. Kreto shala kata pranda gede bela koska dia. Skade baranto sa de gede bela kata. Shabrende gede prandi gede bela kasu prandi gede bela daba. Pranda kata prande gede bela kato sa de prange di bela da. Kim Brentes Kozigata Shalakos Kate Brante Gete Palakosiata. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Focus on Jesus and pray for your growth, for your edification. Sane Katalakosata Brante Gete Bakatusia. Shita Belekate Brontes Gete Balata. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Sede barantas calibrati caparuses yata in the credit de balacatus yata baj Sadi baracatus sate brende gede bede gede 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 ba He mataja la cata brende gede balatapus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let me just strengthen us with one scripture to give us capacity and the zest to pray the more luke chapter 9 and verse 29 one of the most fundamental reasons why we pray in the kingdom more than a platform for receiving and making petitions the bible says and as he prayed the he being jesus he says the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering and when you read the verses afterwards it was in that place of prayer that he had a voice and he said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased you see that and he said i have glorified him and i will yet glorify him again i have glorified him and i will yet glorify him this is my beloved son he says hear ye him I have glorified him i will yet glorify him there is a relationship between prayer the voice of god and your glory i like you to be determined this is part of the meeting obtain the grace to pray are we together knowing that your prayer is granting you the grace to build capacity in the place of prayer you draw inspiration in the place of prayer you evolve to higher spiritual versions of yourself lift your voice again in one minute and begin to pray please pray show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest Will you show us the ancient path? Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Shalabarakatosa de brendegele katai. Prakas elabarakatosi adabalada badakatosh. Brande ke barada siya tata, shede bela ke te brande ke te bela katusia, shabarante ke te brande ke baratus ka ti brada kata. He 
Rana Bakatosha la Brandege de la Cosa Dia, Tema Sada Barakata Brandege de Belecatus, Scabacatosa Brandas Cadelecatosa Ziana Haskada, Embra Catabaratusca de Lecata Brandege de Belanabo. Shit, the belakate brandi ke di balada balado. Are you praying? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. While, while I sat back just listening to Pastor Pete share on the spirit of fear, I, I began to just meditate on the truthfulness of what he was saying and praying within my heart. The believers here represented would really believe in the truths that he was saying. Fear has kept many people from fulfilling their god ordained destinies there are many people by prophecy they should be at certain levels right now but fear has kept them down fear is a dangerous spirit in fact fear is the spirit that ushers every other spirit they go after fear it opens the door you are my hiding place you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you i will trust in you let the weak say i am strong in the strength of the Lord, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong. In the strength of the Lord. I feel like singing one more song. Please take it higher for me. I hope you will know the song. I praise you. I praise you. Oh, Lord. Listen, this is not a special number. I want you to think of your life and think of God's faithfulness as you sing this song. Where he's taken you from, where you are now, and where he's taking you to sing that song with this understanding. Are you ready now? We're going to start again. It's not a special number at all. Let it be from the depth of your heart with understanding. For some of you, he's taken you from the pit. And you may not yet be in the palace, but you're not where you used to be. I praise you. I praise you. Oh, Lord. I praise you. I praise you, oh Lord, in my life, Lord, I see what you're doing, one more time, Lord, I lift my hands in praise of your name. I lift my hands in praise. One more time, lift your hands, lift your voices together, and let's bless the Lord this morning. I praise you. I praise you. Oh Lord. I praise you. I praise you. Lord, I see what you're doing. 
Let me tell you a secret. Listen, this is a vigil. Let me tell you something. Do you know the reason why many people experience a level of lifting and then for a long time it looks like other doors don't open in succession because they do not understand that gratitude is a ladder in the spirit. Gratitude is more than acknowledging the faithfulness of God. It is your path to the next level your ability to intentionally recognize the goodness of god he gave you a cup of tea yesterday and you celebrate and thank him as if nothing else is coming and he says i will add bread to that tea and you worship him and then he will add whatever it is i tell you why many people do not see the hand of god in succession they are not grateful it's easy to ask it's easy to complain it's easy to see what is not there but this morning if it is just five minutes i want you to forget about what you think he has not done he has done great things take your eyes away from every challenge every sickness take your eyes away from every disappointment Take your eyes from, away from every financial trouble, every demonic oppression. Focus on Jesus and give him quality thanks this morning. Bless his name. I like what the song says. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name I will bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless your holy name you have been faithful oh god and we choose to say thank you some trust in horses and others chariots but we trust in the name of our god you have kept us from january right till november you have granted us grace you have granted us peace we choose to see what you are doing for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise i magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise i magnify your name i glorify your name i magnify your name i magnify your name we're still thanking him can you list the things he has done and say thank you thank you for health thank you for the anointing thank you for increasing me in ministry don't be silent don't be silent don't be silent please go ahead and worship him don't be tired Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And I will not be silent. 
I will always worship you as long as long as One more time, let it come from the depth of your heart. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long. Speak to our hearts this morning and I pray that you will change our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Listen, I believe with all my heart that this is already a prophetic word for someone that what you may need is not new prayer points. What you may need is an acknowledgement of what he has done. It is very easy in the kind of world we live to take away your eyes from the faithfulness of Jesus. As you hear the news, as you see what is going around, sometimes these things can becloud us and then we, we fail to see that you have to be alive first to feel the impulses of what is happening in your world. I received text messages about praying for people who are probably dead and they are trusting them to come back to life or something usually when people die like this they try to reach me attempting to pray for the people i have an average of this almost every day without exaggeration out of the text messages there is at least one person releasing their faith saying rich apostle it's not too late we believe that there can be and that already is more than ministry that is a reminder every day that I have the opportunity to be at the other side of life where I can even minister to people. I don't take life for granted. I am a very grateful person. Are we together? Many of you today, you pass through the same road. I know that we say it casually. I'm showing you why many of us do not see the faithfulness of God beyond certain levels. We think gratitude is for children and you are right children who understand the faithfulness of their father many times i feel guilty even asking god for anything i look at my life and in the place of prayer i just say lord i thank you if you never bless me again in this life i still owe you my life i owe you my gratitude you have given me the reward and the honor of many lifetimes in one already if you never do anything for me again you see the more you know god the more you really forget about ministry and start focusing on your relationship and your love for him at this point in my life every time i stand before people i many times forget that there are people the consciousness of his faithfulness and my desire to just begin to worship and even forget about who is looking is what he's done for me i'm praying i'm saying it again for someone here you came for shout and the message god is giving you already is you've been taking my faithfulness for granted you've been taking my faithfulness and my mercy the love i have given you both what you have prayed for and what you did not pray for and yet you take your eyes away from it I have learned as a ministry to be grateful and to express it with the same passion I express my needs to him. You have to express gratitude with the same passion that you express when you were crying for that answer. You cannot spend three hours asking God for breakthrough and spend two minutes and say thanks. No. Your gratitude has to match the gravity of what was given. 
this is not my message oh i just came on stage and i believe that the lord is emphasizing this because many times challenges becloud god's people from being grateful and thankful and intentionally consistent I'll raise your banner high I'll shine your light so bright I'll sing in honor of you Grant us the grace to be and remain grateful people in the name of Jesus. That we will leave this place tonight with a culture and an attitude of gratitude in jesus name i pray god bless you please be seated if you can again it's my joy to be here amen by wisdom oh god heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night turning darkness into light arranging the stars to your pleasing dave come i'm spotting you here can you sing that song for me i just sense it in my spirit blessed are you lord our god Eternity's holy King. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, whose words brings on the evening. But a cool Adonai, Amevora, Leolam By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up With understanding you order the seasons Bringing day and night, turning darkness into light Arranging the stars to your pleasing Barahu and Adonai Amevora Leolam Vahe Barahu and Adonai Amevora Leolam Vahe Hallelujah. Hear me. The Lord is speaking to someone here that you are coming to the end of your season of training. Please listen to me. There are many of you who inside and outside, the call of God is upon your life. And many of you for years now, God has prohibited you from doing anything. No programs, no meetings. You don't have anything. You don't have any ministerial title. But you've been in the cave of Adulam, praying, fasting, building some of you are workers in church and while you are working in the ushering department say there is a strong apostolic and prophetic mantle 
that is it's been predestined over your life hear me i'm speaking to you by the spirit it doesn't mean your training is over but you are about to step into what the bible calls your season of appearing i believe this with all my heart this may not be a word for everybody but there are people god has so dealt with you you have been through seasons of prunings some of you do not even understand the name of what has been happening between you and god lord what is the meaning of this when others are going forward he will tell you to wait when others are eating he will tell you to turn the plate upside down many of you may have been invited for ministrations and he prohibited you from going he said stay the kind of breed that i'm raising requires stature and power in the spirit if you go the way you are half baked you will be tired before the sun arises and so he's been dealing with you men and women different dimensions of ministry from the prophetic to the intercessory ministry to the ministry of prophetic psalmistry songs that are not just special numbers but are ladder honey what is the relationship between the prophetic and locust and wild honey he he did not have a normal life it is a prize for greatness god would destabilize normalcy in your life you cannot be normal and anointed mm -mm. Mm -mm. hear what i'm saying i'm speaking to you by the spirit this 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 word will come like a tornado to your spirit man because god is beginning to tell you i am not raising you just for a city i am the kind of training is not just for your family oh saul i disguised you using the issue of um of your father's donkey missing but it's not about the donkey it's about an encounter with samuel to receive a mantle that will make you king one day There are many of you seated here. There is a the, the, the end time healing move. You see this, this healing ministry that our father spoke about. Some of them have gone to be with the Lord now. Where do you think those mantles are? Those mantles don't go to heaven. Mantles don't leave earth to heaven. Those mantles have been trailing destinies. Some of you here, men and women, you may think you are somewhere locked up in Mina, but prophecy has been following you like a guided missile i'm telling you hear me i'm speaking to you by the spirit you are stepping into seasons where there are certain anointings and mantles that will just rest upon your life regardless gender regardless earthly qualification because you see the way god qualifies men is not the way men qualify men i'm speaking to someone by the spirit for some of you when your season is over god will move you out of this city believe me he has prohibited you from moving every arrangement to go out has refused to walk because his hand is upon you for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom i choose the way of the lord in the last few weeks have been even me myself i know that i'm coming to an end of a season in my life because there are things that god does there are there are certain activities of the spirit around the life of a man that can show you that you are coming to the end of a season a new dimension of glory a deeper level of consecration and power and sacrifice and a higher standard of dealing with the spirit this is how mighty men are made in the kingdom i came tonight more than just charging you it's an impartation i came to become a funnel that a, a kind of wine will rest upon someone that god will make sense to your staying awake this morning so that it will not just so be that, that you wasted, wasted your time, your time you came to, came to watch, watch great people come to bless you in various ways you are immersed in a glory and whilst you are seated there in the midst of what i'm saying the holy ghost is going to be speaking to you pay attention to this because this is a word for you
Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Out, of out, out of my, of my belly, belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. He are he Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. He are he Da 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 Hallelujah. Before we continue, I want you to pay seven. There are 27 people the Holy Spirit is showing me. The ministry of prophetic intercession. There is a grace and oil coming on you now as I'm speaking. God is going to be bringing you into that ministry. Dimensions of prophetic intercession. The grace to fold onto the four horns of the altar and begin to pray. Not in the public view. God will hide many of you in homes, in rooms, in places of retreat. 27 people, men and women together. I declare may that grace, whether you are inside, whether you are outside, may that man to rest upon your destiny. 27 people, prophetic intercession, the grace to intercede for nations. God will give you faces of individuals and you will stand to pray for them. Please help them. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Kadosh, 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 you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion King. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep. And we can't You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. You are mighty in my life. Mighty in my life. Mighty in my life. I'm saying it again one last time. Many of you are at the bridge of an old season and a new one. Hear what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. You have exhausted the grace that is upon your life. You have encompassed that mountain long enough. Some of you, God is going to begin to subject you through seasons of fasting. And prayer because there is a new wine that needs to come upon your destiny for the journey that is ahead for the journey that is ahead for the journey that is ahead
Hela masada kate balaka tu siada. Prophetic intercessors. God is restoring the mantle of prayer over me now. This is what I'm hearing. There is a restoration of the mantle for prophetic intercession. Many of you here, God is going to start calling you. No name, no nothing. It's not a ministry, but it's a platform for genuine intercession and prayer. There are men of God within your city and respectfully speaking, God is challenging us to get to incorporate the ministry of prayer and take it seriously. When the ministry of prayer is engaged with understanding, it can produce power and might. Just help those under the anointing. It's not time to bring them out now. I came with a burden of the Spirit upon us. Hmm. Hallelujah. I wanted to give the prophetic word after the session of teaching but if this is all that God wants and he can allow to do but I want to give you a scripture that the Lord gave me while I prepared for this program one of the things that he's doing in this place Ezekiel chapter 12 Ezekiel chapter 12 I had to write it down from verse 21 And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. 23. 23. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand. And the effect of every vision. That that proverb, that there is so much delay in my life and destiny. It seems I'm waiting forever. It says, say unto them, you will no longer have to use this proverb again. Because God is going to be compressing time. And he's going to be giving life to that vision. Are you blessed now? Now for my teaching. First John 5 and verse 4. Please sit down. Just be sensitive to the impartation that happens. Bring us to higher levels, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith the subject of faith faith in God and the dynamics of engaging the faith of God to produce victory in the life of the believer I think we talk a lot about faith and in all fairness to ministers of the gospel I think we have done well to bring the consciousness of such a phenomenon and such a force to bear in the body of Christ. But I think that the dynamics of the operation of faith 
has been seldom understood by even respectfully speaking many who teach it the bible tells us that among the arsenals for victory that the believer has been given there is one cardinal arsenal he calls it the victory not the tool not the weapon that this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith and so the subject of faith for the believer as a principal tool for establishing the victory that has been wrought for us in Christ can never be overemphasized and believers hear me in the days that we live in these are days that will test the sincerity and the genuineness of your understanding this subject of faith there are many who have claimed to understand it there are many who propose to understand it but very few people have learned to command results by engaging faith so let me a few minutes this morning and hopefully god would grant us a better understanding according to colossians chapter 1 and verse 9 paul was mentoring the church in Colossae, and he began to pray that they grow in three realms of knowledge number one that they be filled with the knowledge of his will number two that they be filled with all wisdom and number three that they be filled with spiritual understanding the principal assignment of the god of this world beyond oppressing people with sicknesses and the rest the primary assignment of the god of this world is to blind the minds of people so that they do not sustain the level of spiritual understanding it takes to reign and to rule as you know by now that there are two dimensions to kingdom living there is the prophetic dimensions reality as seen from god's perspective and then there is the man the experiential manifestation realities that are now manifest by reason of engaging your faith just help those under the anointing please are we together now so the bible says this is the record it's a testament that god had given us eternal life and that this life is in his son so that whosoever has the son has life and we know and we have been taught that the life we have received in christ is an overcoming life this is not a church theology this is a fact from scripture that we have been given the life that overcomes an all surpassing life but just merely knowing it as a reality from scripture may never bring us into that experience Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having the understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them why because of the blindness of their heart it was for this purpose Paul began to pray over the church in Ephesus from chapter 1 you read from verse 17 praying that the eyes of our understanding being enlightened that we may know God may grant unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him that our eyes being flooded with light amplified says that we may know the word know there does not just mean awareness oneness that brings you to become one with the thing that you are trying to know there is a lot of spiritual ignorance in the body of Christ I tell you sincerely well-meaning believers who love Jesus with all their hearts and let me tell you your Christian experience will remain a frustrating one when your life is full of realities as revealed from Scripture but never find expression in your life it is dangerous to know what should be and not sustain the intelligence to make it manifest I know God should prosper me I know that principalities and powers and yokes should not have dominion over me I know I should make progress in my life I know I should excel but being able to walk in the reality 
and the experience of this is why we are here to know what god has in store for you is one thing but to walk in the experience of it deuteronomy chapter 28 the first 13 verses if we look at it very quickly a a, a sample of god's intention for us because the basis of the believer's victory listen to me the basis of the believer's victory in this kingdom is within the confines of what god has said the only thing god does is what he says not what he wants whatever god has not said he will not do it not that he cannot do it he will not do it the protocol of his might is that his power follows his words listen carefully his power does not just follow his intention the protocol of administering the power of god is that if his word does not precede his power will not follow genesis chapter 21 maybe let's look at it and then we'll, we'll come back to deuteronomy 28 genesis chapter 21 verse 1 and 2 look at this it says and the lord visited sarah as he had said he didn't visit sarah as she wanted he didn't visit sarah as the situation necessitated he visited sarah as he had said and he did unto sarah as he had spoken that is the protocol of administering the power of god you want to get the power of god to move you must get the word that backs that power verse 2 says for sarah conceived and bare abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him back to Deuteronomy 28 now what has God said concerning you and me it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high say amen, amen. shout it again amen. that the Lord will set thee on high above the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you Joshua Selman and overtake you if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God verse 3 blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall thou be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle the increase of thy kind the flocks of thy sheep blessed shall be thy basket and thy store do you know what that means i can teach all night from verse 5 there is a difference between your basket and your store verse 5 please give me verse 5 your basket is what you put the grains in your store is where you keep it both need to be blessed if your basket is blessed and your store is not blessed you are still in trouble your basket and your store verse 6 blessed shall thou be when thou come in there are people who only are blessed when they are coming in but the others he says blessed shall thou be when thou goest out seven the lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee because there is a relationship between enmity and the blessing so he did not negate that in revealing his counsel to you blessed shall the Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before your face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou settest thy hands to do, he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Three more verses the lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the lord thy god and walk in his ways all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the lord and they shall be afraid of thee 11 and the lord shall make thee plenteous in goods in the fruit of the body in the fruit of thy cattle in the fruit of thy ground in the land which the lord swear unto thee verse 12 and the lord shall open unto thee his good treasure to give unto you rain to give the rain unto thy land in his season 
and to bless all the work of your hand and thou shalt lend to many nations and not borrow read verse 13 if you're a christian one to read and the lord shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only shout only shout only only is a very instructive statement it didn't say you shall be the head it said you shall be the head only and thou shalt not be beneath the bible does not say the tail there it says you will not be beneath because the tail of an animal is not the lowest part of that animal you shall not be beneath if thou shalt hearken to the commandments of the lord thy god which i commanded this day to observe and to do so god has spoken great things concerning his zion he's spoken great things concerning us our confidence is based on what he has said because what he has said gives us guarantee that there is a measure of his power that backs what he has said remember what i just taught you the power of god cannot move in the direction where his word has not gone the power of god always follows the word of god habakkuk chapter 3 a popular scripture let's read verse 3 and 4 amplified if possible habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 3 and 4 is god helping you this morning habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4 the bible says god came from taman and the holy one from mount param he said his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise amplified puts verse 4 in a beautiful way but that's all right if it's just king james we have it says and his brightness was as the light he had horns coming out of his hands and amplified says that from that horn the light that comes from that horn there was the hiding place of his power so god's power is hidden in his light everywhere you see the light of god that is where his power is going what is faith let me talk a bit about faith and then we'll pray what exactly is faith number one faith is absolute confidence in god absolute confidence in god derived from your encounter with his word faith is absolute confidence in god that is derived from your encounter with his word faith is absolute confidence in god derived from an encounter with his word number two what is faith faith is the action that you take as proof that you believe and you trust god faith is the action that you take not just the believing the action that you take as proof that you believe god as proof that you trust him proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 particularly five and six says trust in the lord with all thine heart it says and lean not on thy own understanding verse six says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path seven says be not wise in your own understanding or eyes fear the lord and depart from evil so the bible says to trust in the lord and it says to do so with all your heart that faith is absolute confidence in god derived from your encounter with his word number two faith is the action that you take as proof that you trust god as proof that you believe god four times in scripture the bible tells us that the just shall live by faith popular scriptures just write it down for sake of time in habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4 Habakkuk 2 and verse 4, Romans chapter 1 and verse 17. Romans chapter 1 and verse 17, same rendition. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 11, the just shall live by faith. 
and finally hebrews chapter 10 and verse hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38 all of these four renditions will tell you that the just the justified lives in this kingdom by faith like car runs on fuel like a wall clock runs on a battery no matter how beautiful the wall clock is if there is no battery that powers it it cannot function the just shall live by faith in mark chapter 11 from verse 22 to 24 jesus himself was speaking expressly and he was the one who gave an instruction to the disciples and by extension to believers have faith in god men like papa hagen will interpret this as half the faith of god 23 he shows us the character of bible faith for verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say so there is a saying as proof of faith be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass the bible says he shall have whatsoever he saith 24 therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them someone say faith now let me tell you this for every prophetic destiny in christ whether financially relationally ministerially faith is a principal requirement for converting prophecy to experience you will require faith in the equation of your exploits in this kingdom now most believers have prophecy over their head most believers have prophecy over their destiny but the dynamics of faith to release them to that point in experience there are many people for instance who have the destiny of kingdom financiers there are many men and women of god according to god's predeterminate counsel they shouldn't be small there is a grace upon them for nations and for territories but they may never walk in the experience of that reality why because many people have not seen the value of faith as far as the victory of the believer is concerned one of the principal weapons of victory tools for victory given to the believer is faith the just shall live by faith romans chapter 10 and verse 19 very quickly now takes us further in the subject of faith romans chapter 10 did i get that is it 17 or 19 help me so then faith comes please help me i think i missed the, the verse thank you 17. look up please the bible says so then faith comet everyone please shout it say faith comet one more time say faith cometh that means faith is alive and it is mobile the bible here personifies faith like a messenger who you can call and he can come anything that can move must be alive the bible says faith comes and that the mechanism that brings faith to the believer look up please the faith that walks in the is the faith that has come not the faith that is coming the faith that is coming does not produce results it is the faith that has come the money that is coming does not buy things it is the money that has come for many people we are attempting to use the faith that is coming for exploits listen carefully so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god so faith comes by hearing the second hearing there is not just hearing and hearing no there is the hearing of awareness and there is the hearing of understanding two realms of hearing there is the hearing of awareness but there is the hearing of understanding are we together now so the bible says faith can come like money can come 
like a car can come as a vehicle you can stand at the junction waiting for a car to pick you the goal is not to remain in the car the goal is to use the car to get to your destination but the car comes and you rejoice because that is the vehicle allotted to pick you you see that now when i was coming here you made arrangement for a vehicle to bring me here and my goal was not to remain in that vehicle forever but i was happy when i saw the vehicle why the vehicle was the guarantee that i would arrive here are we together now so when i entered that vehicle i entered with joy and i enjoyed watching the vehicle walk and when it got to my destination it dropped me to come down that's how faith is the vehicle that moves you from prophecy to manifestation man of god the vehicle that moves you from two numbers to a nation the gospel the, the the vehicle that moves you from mediocrity to notoriety is faith not just blind connection is faith now let me teach you the dynamics of faith because this is i think that most people really do not understand the subject of faith and i don't claim to know everything about it but i can tell you if you pay attention to what i'm about to share with you your faith will step into another level you will shake this unbelief that keeps keeping people poor justifying mediocrity justifying a weak and a defeated christian life believe me i know what i'm saying Bible faith is based on two principal attributes of God. You want to operate the kind of faith that our fathers gave us. You want to operate the kind of faith that has helped our fathers to do exploits. The Bible in Hebrews 11 begins to give us the archive of men and women who walked by faith. And it starts by saying, now faith is. It calls faith a substance. Listen carefully. And don't be tired of this teaching. There is a revelation you need to get. It calls it the substance of things hoped for. It calls it the evidence of things not seen. It says, for by it, elders obtained a good report. That creation, verse 3, happened even through faith. Verse 4. It says by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than cain verse 5 it says enoch was translated look at the things the possibilities that happen on account of faith verse 6 it says without faith it is impossible to please god why because whoever must come to god must believe first that he exists and then that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him now please look up believers the faith that walks is predicated on two principal qualities of god number one is his integrity bible faith is hinged on the fact that god is a god of integrity please write it down the integrity of god in numbers chapter 23 and verse 19 i think i've shared something like this here numbers 23 and verse 19 please look up the first five words if you can read it with me let me have your attention and please let's read together the first five words as you see projected ready one to read god is not a man one more time please god is not a man this is a very instructive statement he's saying god is not a man he became a man but he is not a man god is not a man that he should lie wow now right there this is a revelation about men he's telling you that men lie they don't lie because they are bad they lie because they are men that that possibility is not in god god does not lie and tell you sorry i was only under pressure god is not a man the weakness of men that will compel lying is not in him neither the son of man that he should repent 
hath he said and shall he not do it this is his credentials here had he spoken and shall he not make it good so everything he says is what he can do everything he speaks is what he can make good say amen, amen. so if you want to operate bible faith ladies and gentlemen please hear me because the days that come the days that we're living now will be days of men and women who really really have faith Oh, we are both who got it so well when he sang he said these are not the days of elijah these are not the days of all of these people these are our days they have lived there as they they use their faith and they purchase those possibilities now the turn is ours we can use their stories for inspiration but their stories will not give us results it is our understanding so that our children will also use our stories to inspire them to have faith it is not another man's story that gives you faith it is your understanding and you're engaging the word of god look up please sooner or later man of god you will have to do sooner or later you will have to pay for certain bills that will require faith sooner or later you're going to have to believe god for impossible things that are not affordable as far as the realm of men is concerned i'm telling you this is what has separated people into all kinds of cadres. time will fail me says to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shut the mouth of lions women who received their dead back to life this is the victory that overcomes dear businessman this is the victory that overcomes dear man of god how will the ministry grow by faith how will your influence spread to the nations by faith how will your background not be an an impedance to your advancement by faith how will the nations call upon the name of the lord through your life by faith it takes faith the alternative to faith is a life of struggle and frustration and a mechanical approach to growth and lifting that is not what we're called to do faith every time i have the opportunity to fly as i look down and i look at cities and communities and you see how small they look and i'm watching with wonder and shock and saying the beauty and the might of god if from just an elevated altitude just a few thousand feet above sea level i can look at a horizon and see how small it is imagine how high and mighty god is and how he looks at everything you must be able to sustain god's dimension of vision to rule your world you cannot have a small mind that has been tampered and further darkened by background poor understanding of scripture and excel in life you will only end up getting angry and jealous and envious of people who are making it can i tell you everyone a man of god says has a high calling in christ but it takes faith to work out your salvation with fear and trembling are you hearing what i'm saying now yes sir this is a victory that overcomes even your faith I don't like to tell my stories it's not something I like but I remember when God sent me to Abuja and he said okay it's time you're going to move to Abuja now I've had the opportunity to talk with pastors and council pastors and they have cried and cried over ministry in Abuja number one because of the financial implication of living in that territory and doing ministry in that territory and then quite honestly the complexity that you know comes around the entire ministry within that region and when god sent me there i was happy where are you going to hold where are you going to get the auditorium where will you get the resources to do all of that uh -uh. that is not my responsibility that is the owner's responsibility stewards listen to me stewards are only concerned about management are you seeing that now it is the owner that has the responsibility for bringing that innovation and i remember when i went there 
I stood outside and I looked and I said, no. The Lord instructed me to get the map of Abuja, the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, and the map of the world. They were on my dining table for a long time. Every time I'm praying, I look at it. I sat down and not sounding arrogant. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but I looked at the map of Abuja and I saw that there were six local governments, 3.6 million people. And I said, I mean, this is, this is, this is, this is easier than where I'm coming from. That's what I told myself based on light, not based on arrogance. I did not see any hindrance whatsoever by any reason. Listen, I did ministry by the grace of God in the Zazel Emirates. If you know anything about Zaria, that is the seat of, you know, the whole Islamic practice. And we covered the road for 10 years because of overflow. It was the grace of God. So I had seen the hand of God and when God was sending me there, I was happy. I wouldn't sit down and be asking stupid questions. Lord, how will you come through? No, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. Where will the people come from? Faith, comet, and it comes with everything it can pull. Faith does not come alone. The Bible just says faith comes. But when it comes, you will see that it's dragging every other thing too. Are we together now? I remember the auditorium that we use when i'm sharing this to inspire you not not i remember when i was told of that auditorium was big huge you know about the most expensive auditorium in the entire city and then this is our side overflows and every other place and without exaggeration i tell you the price for one single use may probably run many conferences just one one use one week and when i sent a few people to discuss with the owner of the place he said no 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 i'm not giving it it, it, it took a lot to build this place we're not giving it to church we're not giving this they will destroy it and yet i went to the place of prayer and the lord told me that was the place and i said that's it it's done i said just leave him he has been told that is it i was in enugu when the man called true story and he said for the first time in his life i hope i'm right on that that he had the voice of god speaking to him and said do not dare prohibit these people this is a move that is coming and it is a blessing even to you and the man called he was not feeling very strong so i decided let me go and see him for the first time and greet him i got to his office and there and then he called all the managers and we had our discussion and to god be the glory the rest is history god has honored himself beyond imagination say faith shout it say faith i'm saying this because some of you i don't mean to insult you but i'm here to tear down that mediocrity many of us are battling with things that are not giants your mind has magnified them 10 years trying to build that house two years trying to do this apostle how am i going to pay the school fees of my children how am i going to live my life lifetimes are so expensive can i tell you faith can elevate you to a point where it will be as though you are holding a charm in your hand faith there are no guarantees in life your guarantee is your faith a few weeks ago was probably one of the the most dramatic personal experience i've had flying in the air and i've had the privilege to fly for many years but something happened a few weeks i think it was the weather and it was raining and my goodness it was i don't know it was it was it was almost devastating i'm not sure that i've had an experience where the plane is as if someone is playing table tennis from i'm not talking of just bombs here and there bombs that even you you know you can look at the cabin crew and you know that everybody's just saying god just help us to land safely believe me god is my witness i looked at this thing and i was sleeping scriptures like arrows 
I'm going to show you how faith works. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I have said before you life and death. Honor your father and your mother in the Lord. Having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. And you find stability and security. Because you see, in the world that we live in, there are many people who have a superstitious idea to the kingdom experience. They just hope that somehow, without understanding faith, they will survive today's world. No, sir. The evil of the times, the wickedness in the hearts of men within this time, it will require your thorough understanding of this weapon that the bible says is the victory are you ready to learn faith now number one the first key please listen carefully the foundation for bible faith the foundation for bible faith i shared it with the members of the house on the rock last time i was here the foundation for bible faith is an awareness of the promises of god listen to me scripture is the boundary of god's commitment to the believer god cannot be committed to the believer outside the provision that is allowed by scripture you have to understand this there is no superstition when you are dealing with god scripture defines the jurisdiction of god's commitment to the believer whatever allowance scripture cannot provide the power of god will not go beyond that boundary in the beginning was the word john 1 1 in the beginning was the word in the beginning was the word in the beginning of your business is there a word for it in the beginning of your life is there a word for it in the beginning of the year in the beginning of the month in the beginning of the day the rule is in the beginning was the word it always starts with the word to find out what god has said concerning my life to find out what god has said concerning your life let me see if you have remained good students with a particular bias to house on the rock members last i was here i told you that there are three dimensions if you can remember that the bible principally contains three things number one promises number two principles number three prophecies every time you open your bible there are three things you are exposed to number one promises god's commitment to you number two principles the modus operandi of the kingdom how the kingdom operates they are called the mysteries of the kingdom number three prophecies that gives you rest and hope for the future are we together so the foundation of bible faith please hear me man of god what gives you a guarantee that your church will thrive in mina oh i am from this area no sir what gives you the guarantee that you will excel in business excel in ministry what gives you the guarantee that your children are going to be responsible people tomorrow oh i sent them to good school no the Bible says, listen carefully, it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow. There are people who have done everything you are doing and more and yet it did not work. Can I tell you, there are times you may have the boat, you may have the net, you may be in the sea, yet it will not catch fish. This is not an issue of laziness. This is not an issue of lack of skill. There are times your net will not catch fish. There are times your boat will be there. At that time, you don't need skill. You need Jesus. Only Jesus can make the fish to gravitate to your net. In the beginning was the word. I never take any action in my life until I can find scriptural guarantees. Please write it down. When I say the word, I don't mean a vision. I don't care what dream or what supernatural experience you have if there are no scriptures that give you a backing you are not going anywhere believe me this is where many many people especially we who god has helped in the apostolic and the prophetic just because you had an encounter just because you had a vision and in that vision you saw something and wrote it down and you are praying it 
believe me that is not why it will come to pass the secret to the manifestation of anything is it is written when satan came to jesus jesus did not say i saw jesus did not say i am seeing jesus did not say i am hearing do you think that it was only what was written that he, he could use this is jesus the fountain of wisdom he obviously was seeing a lot of other things but the arsenal that he used to establish victory was it is written mina please shout say it is written one more time don't be tired say it is written it is written is greater than i saw it is written is greater than i heard it is written is greater than he told me the most superior encounter is it is written but you know we live in a world where if i tell you now that i'm standing i'm seeing an angel and the angel is saying this and saying that chances are that you may feel spiritually bullied and you may feel as though because you are not seeing anything you are in a lesser spiritual plane than me it may not necessarily be so the realm of the spirit only respects it is written use what jesus used jesus did not use i saw that does not mean he didn't see and that does not mean seeing is wrong he didn't use i heard it does not mean hearing is wrong it is written all three temptations it is written someone prophesy say it is written this must be your ultimate basis surround your life with scriptures that give you guarantee i'm showing you how bible faith works so if i ask you what gives you guarantee that next year shout 2022 you will be there if you say i'm eating well you are joking find out how many nutritionists died between yesterday and today oh i drive carefully have you heard about people who sat down quietly and a vehicle came to lift them up the basis for your confidence for everything in this kingdom is it is written get ready because we're going to do a little class work here now that everything i ask you whatever it is that gives you confidence and the basis for exploits your answer should be it is written this is spiritual intelligence so what gives you the basis right now that the remaining part of this year will be a great one for you it is written you must learn it what gives you the basis man of god that this level of anointing is the lowest level you walk in oh just because there's a man of god waiting to lay hands on me after service no sir every man is a steward it is what gives you the basis that the patterns that you saw from your family that you saw people who were as zealous as you and yet they could not make it well-meaning well-intentioned christians it is written what is written i've been called out of every tribe i've been called out of every tongue that is what is written that is what you are going that is your strong reasons in the school of faith it starts with what is written not what you want what is written you have to find what is written and connect what when what is written is connected with what you want the power of god can now move if all you bring is what you want you will get sympathy but not performance many people have what they want but they have not brought before the lord what is written it says present your cause bring forth your strong reasons madam what gives you the guarantee that this morning that yoke of barrenness will be broken oh i know why joshua selman is here uh -uh. it is written that's the correct approach believe in the lord your god and you shall be established believe his prophets now this is where we come in we come in as a subset of what was written the reason why you will be healed why you will be delivered the reason why every prophetic word will work for you is beyond the man who is speaking 
is because that man himself is submitted to it is written you are holding a bottle of oil on your hand what gives you a guarantee that that bottle of oil is going to bless you because it is yellow and it is anointing oil no that oil was designed to fry things in the kitchen it was not designed for your head it is your faith that has converted it now to be used and i tell you if you do not connect that oil with it is written you are only wasting your time everyone shout it is written i'm bringing to your mind the consciousness of how bible faith works go and find scriptures that give you a guarantee that that house will be built let me give you one the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work, that that same hand will complete it. That now becomes the basis for believing that it will be complete. What makes you believe that with the plagues and the arrows that are killing people, you are not next in line? What is the basis? I didn't trouble anybody. Superstitious Africa. Oh dear. The basis for your confidence must be it is written. What is written? that the fullness of your days you will fulfill what is written that it is within your power to choose life what is written that when you honor your father and your mother and the lord your days will be long and it shall be well with you what is written that you shall not die but live and declare and since you are declaring there is a justification for your continuity it is written this is how kings reign in this kingdom what gives you a guarantee that your destiny helper is going to come i listened to a teaching on favor no sir it is written gentiles will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising it is written where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you you shall be called an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations what is written that when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him what else is written This is how we reign in this kingdom. Man of God, what gives you room that you will remain in ministry? It is written, I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed and since I've handed the ministry to him, another reason why it is written, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men. That means there cannot be drought for you in ministry. Why? It is written. Shout it, say it is written. I'm teaching you Bible faith. All this nonsense, I, I, I say it with every sense of respect and responsibility. There is a lot of nonsense that is not equal faith. We'll only worry ourselves in front of the door and not command results. You don't fail when it is written. You only fail when you think. You only fail when it is an opinion. When it is written, you win. When I was started out in ministry, I didn't start to fail. There was no plan B for failure. And this is not some competitive canal standpoint. I found in scripture that I can look unto Jesus. I saw him do and finish what was given to him. And the Bible says, as I have sent him, so send I you jesus did not fail in ministry jesus was not weak in ministry when he wanted supplies even a fish that has no business with coin held coin for his sake so when someone says pastor i had a dream and in that dream god said i should give you this i'm not going to say i don't believe it i found it in scripture fishes don't eat coin but when the master needs it, a fish will get coined anywhere and bring it close to the master. Anything can bless you when it is written. Are we together? I believe this with all my heart. Why? What gives you the basis that you will continue to multiply and grow in the anointing? I will tell you three scriptures. One the path of the just the bible declares is as a shining light that shines ever brighter onto the perfect day that's what the bible says that's what the bible says and i believe that with all my heart number two the bible says grace and peace can be multiplied through knowledge so the more i engage in strategic spiritual understanding i expect grace alongside the peace it brings to multiply 
the only limit to the grace and peace in my life is my passion for knowledge if my passion for knowledge does not drop then the grace and peace does not come question what about all the causes and the yokes how am i sure that as i'm standing here someone is not in the shrine with my name the bible already made provision for that that no enchantment and no divination against me will stand this is what i believe it is written and i believe it the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i fear this is the truth don't take this as some child's play it may cost you your life you have to return back from the superstitious approach to christianity and carry your bible and get back to it is written the true basis for bible faith many are they that rise up against me many are they that say where is your help psalm 3 but thou O lord he says you are a shield for me my glory he says and the lifter up of my head he says how did he put it now he says i lay me down and i slept i wait for the lord sustain me so when i sleep i expect to wake up i sleep with the intention to wake up I don't go to bed hoping to just pass there i can have visions that's all right but i have to come back you believe what i'm sharing with you everybody say it is written it is written when men say there is a casting down for me i declare that there is a lifting up that is what i believe strangers shall feed my flock my gates shall be continually open the bible says it shall not be closed day or night to receive the forces of the gentiles this i believe why it is written i'm giving you a new spiritual orientation as childish as this sounds it is the only way we command victory if jesus used it jesus himself when satan came you would think jesus would say are you not aware that i'm the word even the word had to use it is written the logos of the father had to use it is written to establish his victory please hear me it's time to shake away weakness it's time to stop getting disappointed and saying, look at my uncle. My uncle who stays, he works in Shell. My uncle is the governor and he can't just give me a job. You will never get a job because your uncle is there. You'll get a job because it is written. Connect your uncle to it is written and leave him there. And watch the power of God. The power of God only moves when it is written. I don't waste my time doing anything without finding a structural biblical basis in as much as i thank god for the privilege of visions and encounters angelic realms and supernatural encounters i bring all these encounters under the reality of it is written i ensure that it is written is exalted above every encounter so watch this come dave let me use you for one moment before we pray if i look at this gentleman now for instance and if god opens my eyes now watch this if god opens my eyes while ministering and i look at this guy and i see him in a ghastly motor accident tomorrow morning on his way back to abuja for instance now that is a visionary experience and it may not be a lie it may be that that's what the devil has in store for him but real dominion is not getting frustrated over what i have seen real dominion is superimposing with it is written are you seeing now i think i've shared this back home in abuja there have been many times through the years when sometimes i'm about to embark on a trip then when i was in zaria mostly and i have great friends around the world genuine anointed men and women of god some of them are intercessors some of them really love the lord and sometimes 
they can send me text messages and say apostle i'm in a vision right now and i'm seeing you are about to embark on a journey yes you are exactly right say apostle please in the name of the lord i'm begging you we need you don't go i'm seeing a ghastly motor accident and they are not lying these are not just noise makers these are accurate people that speak to nations and i know what they are saying is not a lie but the meeting i'm going for the people need me and i'll tell them okay do you know what man of god i bless god for you don't worry it's okay now that vision is not a lie here is the balance you can ignore them and say don't worry and then go and die like they saw because he's telling you what the devil has planned but let me tell you what dominion is it is written has such a force that it is written can change what i saw it can change what i heard what i saw can change but what was written was written so that it cannot change are we together and many times i sleep peacefully i arrive bless god's people and i return back because it is written i'm sure by the devil's plan the devil doesn't want me to backslide he just wants me to die because there are people who backsliding is still a problem it's just to die get out of this realm completely if you tell me now that there is a spirit that wants to destroy me it's not news no it's not news but it is written but thou O oh lord are the shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my hand. Number two, when you find what it is written, listen carefully, your second assignment is to believe what it is written. Believe what is written. Believe what is written. Don't just know it believe what is written believe what is written what does it mean to believe to be convicted that what was written is not a lie regardless your feelings regardless what you are seeing the bible says while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal temporal means subject to change but the things that are unseen are eternal when you find what is written believe believe how do you get to a point of believing through the art of meditation meditation is how that thing passes the sense realm to be seated in your heart romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 for with the heart man believes so believing is not a brain thing awareness is a brain thing but it must move past the realm of awareness to believing believe number three very quickly so that we can pray now this third key please do not forget it inside outside following online pay attention this third key is where many believers miss it in their faith equation others have been able to stabilize finding what is written others have even gone honestly to the realm where they have believed but many people listen carefully the diligence to fulfill the conditions that scripture demands in order to commit god the diligence to fulfill the conditions that scripture demands in order to commit god this is where many believers miss it this for many people is the missing link in your faith practice the diligence to fulfill the conditions that scripture demands so that you will commit god ah it is not all up to god and it is not all up to you you have to understand how this works every promise in the bible that is that translates into a manifestation of victory for the believer has scriptural demands 
scriptural conditions please listen to me carefully listen to me carefully everything prosperity increase the anointing influence power grace preservation all of these dimensions of spiritual reality they are truth from scripture they are believable because god is the one who is going to make them happen but all of them have demands that must be fulfilled there is a participatory role that every believer has to play please listen participatory role james said show me your faith without works and i will show you my faith by my works the works there talks of the action that validates that you believe god now watch this let me use let me just permit me to bring out money and just use for an example watch this i'm going to come dave you're the one standing now thank you for your diligence now watch this this is a hundred dollar bill look up please i'm just using it for illustration to show you what many people do now let's assume i am god look up please and then this gentleman desires to access whatever blessing could be anointing could be whatever it is are we together now and the first thing is to find out is there any promise in scripture that guarantees my meeting his need on that wise my god he says shall supply all your needs how many all the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound in every good work are we bible students now so he's found the scripture that commits me number two he may even believe that i'm not lying are we together because he has a relationship with me he believes but here is the third part now i'm lifting this and i'm saying trust me i don't have to show you you don't have to see it now i brought it out so that you will believe but i'm going to put it back do i have a hundred dollar bill in my pocket is that true now assuming he does not know i don't have to bring it out it's up to you to trust me do i look like a liar vet my antecedents scripture is god's manifesto showing you that he has integrity are we together now so i tell him if you believe that i am going to give you this here is the condition move down and walk and climb back and come here don't just come directly move down now two things you will do for me i like you to say you are coming but don't come Christians, look up. Come. Come, Dave. Look at this. One year, two years, five months. Now, the person who is watching his relationship with me is wondering what kind of a father is this? Whereas the problem is not my integrity. The problem is that he does not know how this thing works. I have told him there is a condition. Does he believe that I wrote it there? Yes. Does he believe in me? Yes. Why is he not receiving it? Are you seeing that now? Time does not change anything. Time only reveals. It is when your obedience is complete. Now watch this. Can I have another gentleman? Please come, sir. Now this guy has been here for five years. Trusting to receive that level of grace. You come and stand. This guy has come from behind now. Here is the same rule again. You do exactly what I asked you to do, okay? If you want what I'm having, go down and come and stand and collect. Go ahead. Watch this. Who is manifesting faith? What if I am lying? Look at the risk he's taking. Now, when he comes here, he has finished his own part. It's up to me now to defend my integrity. This guy now is getting angry with this one. Where did you suddenly come from? It's not about where do I suddenly come from. It's who has obeyed the principles. Are we together now if he comes here and i fail him he has a right to say you do not have integrity so your action of obedience puts pressure on god's integrity 
Are we together now? So now he has come and I bring out the hundred dollar bill. And when I'm giving him, this guy looks at his promise. But God, you told me this is my own. I didn't lie. God, I believe you. You are right. But you did not take the step that shows that you trust me. It is not any step you take. It is the step allocated to that promise. Most believers just act. And let me tell you this. Most believers think all there is to taking a step of faith is just speaking. Speaking is the first step of action. But not the only one. Comes from the word homologio. It means declare as you have heard. Repeat. Echo it. But it does not mean to stop there. Are we together? This gentleman can stay here for 10 years. And you ask him, what are you doing in ministry? I'm doing ministry. What are you doing in business? I'm doing business. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Do you believe in what he has said concerning your victory? Yes. Have you acted upon it? Have you walked in keeping with the conditions that commit his integrity? No. This may be someone today. And God wants to show you the connecting line. It is not because God cannot build a house. Are you seeing that now? You can take that step. So God would have spoken to you and said, Son, I want to bring the anointing to your life. You now found scriptures. Well done. You now believe that you heard God. You believe that the Bible declares if you are doing ministry and you are lifting up the name of Jesus, you should not do it powerless. He said, I will give you power. And that power can grow. Now you have done well. But have you worked in keeping with the conditions that activate power? Prayer, fasting, and all the principles that activate power. If you are not willing to engage it, honor for vessels that carry that anointing. You dishonor the vessels that carry the anointing is part of the disobedience to the laws of the anointing. You will never receive that anointing. How about someone who wants to prosper in the kingdom you have believed god but have you walked in keeping with the principles that make this the bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat when you are lazy you are already destroying the law you are violating the law of diligence and that means the power of god cannot be released to bless you giving is not the only key are you valuable valuable enough almost everyone if not everyone whether the music ministers or those who are invited to preach the word everybody who was specially invited here was invited because he was perceived to be valuable whether spiritually valuable economically valuable politically valuable etc so there are principles for greatness my charge to you therefore is that you must complete the equation of bible faith if you want to walk in that victory number one it is written return back to the place where you find value for the word of god every aspect of your life should be surrounded with sufficient scriptures number two believe it take time to meditate take time to listen to teachings the teachings that expand that truth that scripture so that you can believe and then number three you must obtain grace to walk in keeping with the conditions i repeat number three is the most difficult part of the faith equation obtaining the grace are we together this gentleman should be a story for you this is what they both wanted and god is rich the same lord is rich unto all one person took a step he came and collected it the other person did not take any step and he stood there just like you and God is giving you a chance now there is, is assuming this guy is sick for instance watch this because I'm about to pray for people now assuming this guy is sick say he has some growth or some tumor and now his first assignment is to believe in Jesus that there is Jesus the healer there is Jesus the restorer there is Jesus the deliverer. There is Jesus the lifter. There is Jesus the way maker. Is that true? 
now if he believes the next assignment is to believe in the vessel there are two kinds of believing when you want to receive you have to believe in god but you also have to believe in the vessel that you will use if you believe in god alone it may not work you need to believe in god and the vessel that will be used when you believe then for instance if he says lay your hands i'm about to pray and you just sit down and say this man does not know the size of what is in my stomach i tell you they will share the grace and you will carry that thing there back home but someone can be angry and say no way things have to change lord i believe at the point you are laying your hands you are still feeling the growth and the devil is lying to you and say keep doing this your stupid things that you do in church and you lay your hands by faith and as the word comes like i always teach there is a union between the man of god and the recipient of that anointing your assignment as a recipient is to believe in jesus the integrity of his word and his person and to believe in the vessel that he will use for the man of god my own assignment is to believe in jesus as the one who empowers people and then to believe that he's anointed me to come and do the things that he has sent me to do when there is a union of these two there is no limit to what can happen this is the victory that overcomes even our faith thank you guys this is for you eh? please both of you you, you use the example so next time there's room for example are we together listen listen to me it will take faith for you to rise from where you are to where god needs to take you there are great things god has spoken concerning you and me but ladies and gentlemen please hear me it is going to take faith and in the next five minutes or so a time is up this is even morning now can you imagine how this vigil works just a few minutes it looks like i just said good morning and it's already morning truly But nonetheless we are going to pray and you are going to declare and release your faith listen to me it is written will be the basis for all you will do and then very quickly i'll speak over you and we're done for the morning please rise up on your feet The just shall live by faith. I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love your presence. Prayer point number one. Lord, I conquer unbelief from my life. I conquer unbelief from my destiny forever. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You came for a vigil. You came to shout. To shout at the devil to shout at principalities and powers and at everything that has held you down lift your voice and pray and declare in the name of Jesus decree and declare whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world is someone praying unbelief Die from my life once and for all in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to begin to live by faith to live by faith means to live by the Word of God to live by faith means to only act in keeping with the principles of the word outside make sure you're praying inside pray 
following from your homes wherever you are following from make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus prayer point number two you're going to mention every area of your life that must bow to the word of God now not later on now please don't keep quiet and declare the scriptures you know over it if it's your finances if it's your health if it's any demonic oppression don't be silent lift your voice and begin to pray 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 shout 2021 pray everything you desire tonight according to scripture seven there is a level the ankle another level your knee a third level the loins and then a final level an overflowing river and all of these dimensions have possibilities attached just because you are anointed does not mean everything will happen i can tell you this the anointing works like currency what you are holding determines how far you can go don't be here and waste this opportunity whether it is in politics whether it is in government whether it is in business ministry at any level there is room now god is giving us to rise higher even in heaven he said come up here there is still room for a higher dimension of power and of grace and then finally i want to speak and declare over your life the prophetic is powerful when it is administered within the boundary of scripture it can work wonders prophecy does not just reveal prophecy creates it makes to happen what has no business happening so do not be surprised that by the morning Saul who left his father as a timid person suddenly returns back as a prophet are we together I believe in the power of God I truly believe let me start with the impartation I'll start with the impartation and then I'll pray for the sick. What is an impartation? An impartation is a system of transferring spiritual possibilities. Impartation is not just about falling under the anointing. It is not just about anointing. Possibilities are birthed by the graces that rest upon us. And the Bible tells us that this grace can multiply in levels acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth the bible declares with the holy ghost and with power it says he went about doing good listen to me it takes a measure of the anointing to do good you have been doing good but you need to do good at a higher level are we together so i will start with the impartation i'm going to pray many of you have come some of you are men and women of god some of you are business people some of you have prayed for a higher dimension of grace the bible says they go from strength to strength as many as appear before the lord in zion so when i pray for you then i'll pray for the sick and then i'll just speak over everyone here and over the territory and we're done for the morning my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed 
with fresh oil I want to pray for you when I stood up here and I was to pray I, I, I thought I would just do it privately but the Lord is putting it strong upon my heart I saw a dove and that dove was resting upon you can I pray for you I just kept quiet I thought we may meet in the office there but I just saw it again I want to pray for you because the, the Lord is about to shift your music ministry to a very strange dimension come you will step into a level of grace that will shift you beyond your imagination I stretch my hands and I declare right now may that fire and that grace right now take that grace in the name of Jesus you will never be the same by the power of the Holy Spirit based on what I saw there is an anointing that has come upon your life and I'm declaring it now let a thousand cubits be measured for your ministry new level in the spirit new exploits to the nations they will hear your voice in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now please bring for me there there are three people particularly a strong action for the prophetic for one of you is not the first time is coming it's a restoration and two of you I know there are many people I'm going to pray but we have to rush just three people right now the power of God is coming on them three of them please let me have them out here let's hurry up so that we save time while you are bringing them out let me pray for everybody now I decree and declare every spiritual dimension that is needed for your destiny there are men of God here let me start particularly with those who are in ministry or called into any kind of ministry please just bring them let's hurry up in the name of Jesus Christ at the count of three I declare my God I'm just in fire moving inside and outside Lord separate those men and women right now may they drink of this wine that shifts them to a new level take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now inside outside please bring them out I decree and declare supernatural grace you will never be the same right now God is opening your eyes please whether you are an usher or not just help them Sing for me, Dave. Bring them out. New wine. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah I want to pray I'm seeing women I prayed this same thing in a meeting somewhere and I'm seeing that same grace there is, I don't know what God is doing with women in this season but I'm seeing that there are prophetic women ladies here that are stepping into dimensions with the spirit bring them out I stretch my hands now upon every daughter of Abraham upon every woman in the spirit whether it's the prophetic whether it's in, in ministry, I declare, take that grace now. Take that. New season. Help this woman, please. My God. You will never be the same. You've touched this grace. Your life is changed. You will Of grace. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. You touch this grace. Your life is changed. I want to pray for the healing anointing. There are some of you, whether in the music ministry or in ministry, God has been speaking to you. And in this season, He wants to release help, help her, please hold them. Women, men together. That mantle is coming on someone right now. Father, at the count of three, there is someone a pakatoshkada inside and outside. You have been operating in a measure, but God wants to push you deeper. Wherever you are, take that grace now. Take that anointing from the front to the back. That fire, that fire, that healing fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. Mighty healing grace coming upon you, coming upon your ministry. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Make sure you don't keep quiet. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My goodness, our time. I have to walk with time. Who is Victoria? Victoria. Who is Victoria? You are coming from the back. This row. This is what I see in my vision. I know there's a lady, but there's another one coming. You plaited your hair up like this. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Huh? The back. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on two of you. Two of you right now as I'm speaking. A strong anointing is coming on two of you and then I pray for the rest. Take that grace now. Two of you. Strong anointing. Help them please. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same Victoria. I decree and declare for you and for your family members. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear look at me. I decree and declare that oppression is ending right now from your life. I'm seeing something being taken out of your body. I declare be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Jonathan. Who is Jonathan? Jonathan. Is there someone carrying that name? I'm hearing Jonathan. You are wearing white, like a white, um, white, I don't know if it's a dress or a shirt or a jacket. White. Jonathan. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Where? I, okay. Jonathan. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, let everything that represents oppression live the life of this man and his family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody here, even though it's just two years, but you came here and your only prayer point is the fruit of the womb. Two years. Where is that person? I want to pray for you quickly. Quickly. Fruit of the womb. That's what, that's what brought you here. In fact, I think it's like husband and wife. I'm sick. That's your wife come i will still pray for you don't worry i'll pray for you we have to hurry up i apologize it's, it's already can you imagine that it's morning already i want you to believe in miracles miracles do happen in the name of jesus christ i will just please um madams just just make contact with yours the stomach let me just pray for you very quickly in the name of jesus the power of God is coming on one of you. And when that happens, one of the women, now, the moment it happens, the healing power of Jesus will flow to all of you. This is the instruction God is giving me. One of you standing here, there is a mighty anointing that is coming right now on one of you. This is what God is, is telling me. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will just flow and I speak over you. I decree and declare right now on that one person, whoever, 
in Jesus name may that grace rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus like the power of God will really really come on you that's the instruction that I'm receiving from the Spirit and the moment that happens where is your husband this lady okay this is your husband I'm not just praying for the fruit of the womb the Lord is increasing you financially you see I'm seeing God bringing increase for you in this area okay let me pray for you now all of them fruit of the womb please don't come out if I don't mention your case so that will save time in the name of Jesus Christ father you have given us the power to heal and to deliver in the name of Jesus according to the time of life I decree and declare return with miracle children I open up your wombs now I don't care what the medical report is in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God help her in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let your womb be open now every medical concern we correct it now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know why I'm seeing light on two of you this man you and your wife I just saw light coming on two of you in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for everybody but I release don't you don't have to come just I stretch my hands and I declare may that light rest on you and your wife right now take that grace in the name of Jesus please help them I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit return with supernatural children for all of you here let it be done for you now you will return by this time next year you will not return alone you will return with your children in Jesus name I pray God bless you please return back to your seat rejoicing now please lay your hand anywhere you are trusting God for a miracle very quickly I'll pray for those in front here but lay your hands anywhere inside outside I believe in miracles God is a miracle worker God is a glorious God God is I know you as a miracle worker God is a glorious God Sadly, I'm not sure we may have the time to take testimonies. What, what will happen is, as I pray for you on Sunday, you can do well to come to Church House on the Rock on Sunday, and then you register your testimonies. We may not have time to take the testimonies. It's already morning. But I want you to believe in miracles. I want to pray. No matter what it is, release your faith right now. Now, there are two people who will shout under the anointing. The moment that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to flow two people particularly two ladies right now as i'm praying the moment that happens i'm going to pray this is the instruction the holy spirit is giving me again i'll always say it sometimes i really don't know why these things happen but it's a ministry of signs and wonders and um we just give him the glory knowing that he's the one who is at work right now there are two people the power of God is a strong anointing, a loud shout to the hearing of everybody. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. But you lay your hands right now. In the name of Jesus, my God, I sense such a strong anointing. Two loud shouts by the Spirit of God. Now I'm ready to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, shout a believing amen. amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now I decree and declare. Every devil behind any and every infirmity here. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I declare be gone now. Amen. Be gone now now i declare healing from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name all kinds of head related conditions be healed now in jesus name 
bone conditions be healed in jesus name whether you are on a stretcher you're on a crutch you're on a wheelchair be healed now in the name of jesus every blood related condition i cause it right now in the name of jesus everyone here with an eye condition whether total blindness partial blindness i declare perfect vision for you now i declare perfect hearing for you now every growth help them please every growth in any part of your body your abdominal region lump around the breast area neck area whatever area in jesus name i command that lump to disappear now help them my god i'm seeing the power of god touching someone i'm still praying there's someone you have a problem with your neck let there be a miracle right now mm. my god you are who you are yesterday today and forevermore what you say i'm still praying that song just came to my spirit someone i don't know what has happened to your voice i don't know if it's your voice box you can't speak loud right now the power of god is touching you right where you are in the name of jesus christ there is an issue of blood in this place what the bible calls the issue of blood in the name of jesus i rebuke it now i rebuke it now i rebuke it now there's someone i'm seeing you on your bed and you're having dreams every time you go to sleep your encounter is with dead people dead people just visiting you and disrupting your sleep right now i decree and declare may you never have that demonic experience again whatever the sickness is whatever the infirmity is in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now 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 there's someone who has i'm seeing a swelling just around um the lower abdominal area around the lap area here you know um in the name of jesus it looks like a lymph node or something there in jesus name let there be a miracle for you now anyone here appointed to death in the name that is above all names we command death to let you go now whatever the medical condition is and no matter how long it has been and has stayed in your life help those under the anointing in the name of jesus let there be a miracle now and if our god is for us then what could ever stop us and if our god is with us then what can stand and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? Receive every prophetic word I'm about to declare over your life. Here at Shout 2021. Prophetic words are powerful. They are declarations of the word of God. And because they are consistent with the character of the Christ, they walk. Help those who will begin to run now. This thing always happens when I come. It's a grace for speed. I'm not even praying it. God is just giving me. People will start running now. Just hold them. Just please. Just be at a lot. Right now as I'm speaking. It's a grace for speed. It's coming on people right now inside outside you'll find people begin to run by the spirit just hold them so they don't injure themselves hmm. this god is a wonder walking god please help them so they don't injure themselves the lord is bringing an end to delay speed
he's bringing speed to the lives of people ten years in one year Kalabara sobarika teleka pariada. Ten years in one year. One year in one month. I release that grace upon you. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in career. Speed in your pursuit. In the name of Jesus Christ that between now and the end of the year God will use you to achieve things that have not been done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ now I decree and declare over your life please hear me every door that has been closed here at home by the God of heaven and in the name that is above all names I speak over that door let that door be open now Shout a loud amen. amen. Everyone anointed by God to be a destiny helper to you in this season. Destiny helpers are people anointed to hold your hands and give you visibility. In the name that is above all names, as you leave this conference, may you contact them. Amen. Hear me whatever represents shame and reproach by the god of heaven i decree and declare joining my faith with every servant of god in this place i decree and declare over you it comes to an end now everything in your life that has refused to grow is violating the law of life therefore i declare everything whether it is your vision whether it is your destiny your church your finances once it is alive it should grow therefore i declare it grows now it grows now it grows now whatever has stopped you from rejoicing and celebrating because the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous if it is true that you are the righteous of the lord and yet the shouts of joy and victory has departed i declare may god give you strange testimonies that restore that shout strange testimonies that restore that shout in the name of jesus christ let me pray for anyone here who is struggling in any area of life particularly in the area of finances in the name that is above all names there is a prophetic dimension to wealth i decree and declare may the god who is el shaddai may the god who is jaira i declare may grace be placed upon your life that attracts resources to you in the name of jesus christ let me pray for your spiritual life i am passionate about people loving the lord seeking him truly and conforming to the fullness of the image and the character of the christ it is my singular understanding and opinion that in all your getting if your spiritual life remains stunted and by spiritual life i measure it with the indices of number one conformity to the image and the character of the christ in experience number two your depth of comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom number three the outworking of the supernatural power of the holy spirit in your life number four the law of love the abundance of the love of jesus if these four indices are not rich in your life you are not growing therefore i decree and declare the grace that can help men to grow in knowledge and to grow in godliness may that grace rest upon you i declare a multiplication of passion for the priesthood ministry of prayer in the name of jesus christ i decree a multiplication of passion for the word receive that grace in the name of jesus those outside i hope you're receiving I decree and declare a multiplication of passion for the house of God. Let it come upon you now. 
and I pray for every church every business every organization every platform here represented in the name that is above all names the strength to move to the next level may that grace come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for all who have participated in making shouts 2021 a success I decree and declare may the God of all flesh who is called the rewarder of them that diligently seek him may he show up for you in strategic ways and particularly for members of house on the rock the global family and then house on the rock here in Mina I decree and declare for you being that 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 donkey that Jesus has ridden on to bless people to transform people I declare may your reward not go far from you it will come to you and even overtake you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the final thing I'm going to do here in the next one minute is an altar call now everyone listen it's already morning and I want everyone to stand please let me request except if you have to please stand for those outside and those inside the Bible declares that ye must be born again the rich man came to Jesus and asked a question and said good master what must I do to be born again moments like these are moments of transformation and encounter the greatest of them being an encounter with Jesus there are people here in the main auditorium across the balcony and I believe multiples of people who are outside who are yet to make this declaration sincerely and you're saying apostle do not end your session without giving me an opportunity to come to Jesus others are saying apostle I love Jesus but for some reason my life has gone haywire and it's not the way it should be whether you are outside or inside for the purpose of this if it's possible I will allow you to come in except inside is full then we'll have another place outside I'm going to count one to five there are people here Jesus is speaking to you whether you are part of the organizing team or you are an invitee who has come from wherever you know that Jesus is calling you he wants to give you an opportunity as I count one to five I like you to run don't just walk run and come and stand here before Jesus I'm beginning my counting now run Jesus is calling you one God bless you celebrate them as they come run to Jesus run to Jesus run to Jesus run to Jesus come on me now you celebrating salvation Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way three please if you're coming rush 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 run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand before Jesus and for all of us please make sure you are praying pray in one minute we're wrapping up already pray for all these ones who are coming don't sit back there if you know that the Lord is calling you he's giving you a new beginning this is the greatest mir miracle literally happening here right now come to Jesus he's giving you a new beginning someday listen ladies and gentlemen someday whether we like it or not as they come very quickly this life will be over in as much as we know it and we're going to transit from this realm some will be on their way to hell because of their ignoring Jesus and then others will be with the Lord it is my desire and I encourage every preacher here that in all your doing please do not ignore the necessity for salvation 
someday these people will see us in heaven and they will thank God that we call them they will come to us and we will see them I am a life that was changed thank you for giving to the Lord I am so glad you came please lift your right hand all of you some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears you're before Jesus hallelujah lift your hands I want you to say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart and mean it as you say it say Lord Jesus say it again say Lord Jesus this morning I have heard your word I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe in you that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I declare according to the authority of scripture that you are my Savior you are my Lord you are my King I declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i am a child of god a recipient of eternal life from today i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name keep your hands lifted father we thank you for these precious ones thank you for the harvest of souls coming to you and lord i declare by the authority of scripture that their sins are hereby forgiven and i declare by the authority of scripture that indeed they are recipients of the life of god i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and may you be established in righteousness the lord bless you and keep you in jesus name celebrate jesus for them now please look at me all of you i want all of you to move in concert to my left which is your right there will be a group of officials waving their hands to receive you let's celebrate them as they go all of you just move this way and there will be a group of people to receive you please celebrate them as they go celebrate them as they go celebrate them as they go don't be tired Keep clapping. They are still going. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. They are still going. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Finally, let me declare the blessings of the Lord. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Pastor Pete Rock, thank you. House on the Rock, Mina, thank you. Mina, thank you for always receiving of that which God has put upon our lives. I decree and declare that it will be for you as a church, as a state, as individuals. It will be for you from glory to glory and from grace to grace. In Jesus' name I pray.